I did it again, my friends. Oh my goodness. Only me, people. This could only happen to me. Hello, my amazing YouTube family. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my video. So, dun dun dun. I got my Ipsy Glam bag. Now, before I open this, if you saw last month, you know that I had a major problem with the supposed value of my bag and I did a separate video going all of I hate to use the word drama but let me just say controversy yes controversy uh, that occurred back and forth with the emails I can tell you that there was no further resolution offered I still don't think I've gotten the product that they said that they were going to send me I thought it was the 111 skin and the Epsi Glam Bag X but so many of you wonderful gracious people let me know that either you got it and or you told me that it was a gift for upgrading from the Glam Bag Ultimate so I, I don't know. I still don't know if I received the product. Does it matter to me? No. And even though I'm still very, very angry that there wasn't a resolution, I know now that they are not going to admit that they were wrong. I understand why. Legally, they cannot do so. Do I still know, not think, do I still know that I'm correct and that the price of that gloss was not what either they or the company Jules Smith said that it was. Yes, I do. I am fully confident in it. I know their explanation. I'll never agree with their explanation. So why am I still getting it? Because, you know, I just want them, them to be honest. Even if it was, say, a $35 bag, $12 a month to get five samples and an occasional full-size item is still not a bad deal. I still like it. I just would have preferred the transparency and the honesty. So I'm still going to get the bag because I like the products that I get and I think the value is definitely there in it. Maybe not as much as they say because remember they said that the bags are oh, either eight or ten dollars which we know not to be true. Let's get into the bag. How cute. It looks like a little card and it says sealed with a kiss. That is quite adorable, very Valentine's Day themed. I didn't show you the little lips here. It's a very cheap makeup bag, no doubt, but I really like the attention to detail, even with the little stamp that says Ipsy. It is a snap closure, and on the inside is a salmon-colored satiny material, which is really nice. Let me pull out the card because what I didn't know, by the way, I did not know that the ultimate, I mean, the X that I got was an upgrade from the plus. I thought I was going to be getting the three boxes, but they were doing it just like a boxy charm. When you get the Lux box, you don't get the base box. It's an upgrade. So I don't remember if they stated that, but nonetheless, that's what occurred. So I didn't get a plus bag this month. But it says send love. So I don't didn't even know that what the theme was because the X was completely different. So I mentioned on my other video that I do have a new kitty and I named her Winter. I swear they just show up on my doorstep. I named her Winter because she showed up in the snowstorm and just never left. So anyway, if I can get her, I definitely will. But she's still a little skittish right now. This is for February 2021. It says all you need is love and maybe a little lipstick too. No, we don't need lipstick right now. So of course inside they're going to tell me what the products are that say valued at 50 plus. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we know that that's not accurate. Okay, so believe it or not, a shocking, shocking I know, but I actually uh, remembered what I picked because I did not like anything that they had as a choice personally but this is the benefit 24 hour brow setter I've used this before I do like it I love the packaging they get an A plus for the cuteness factor and I like that they kept the style of it for the mini as well it just got a little plastic bristle brush which is flat I don't know if you can see it's flat and the bristles go like that and I'm actually going to put some on because uh, my brows aren't set currently. I like it because it is wet but it doesn't feel gloopy or sticky. <gasps> sticky? 
my my dad just sneezed. He sneezes and the entire neighborhood can hear him, by the way. I've been a fan of this for quite some time. I just haven't bought any recently, again, because I get so many other products and I just want to use them up. So I was happy with the choice that I made. And it's clear, so you don't have to worry about making a mess. Okay, so the next thing is what? It says Jade 888. It's a perfume from... Why don't I just put my glasses on instead of struggling? What is wrong with me? Hermetica. Absolutely never heard of it, but I did put on my profile that I like getting perfumes because I really do enjoy trying new ones. And they always send quite the nice size sample, at least of the brands I've never heard of. Evokes images of dense foliage and tangled vines, prolific and <laughs> untamed like the undergrowth of the Amazon. He notes of this soft and what? Okay. The keynotes of this soft and verdant scent are iris oil, ginger extract, and lily of the valley. I'm probably not going to like it, so Brenda, you might be getting a perfume, but I am always willing to try. Very strong, I will say that, because I can actually smell it. I honestly don't know yet. Um, it wasn't an immediate, oh my goodness, I love it. It does have a strong floral scent, but I also smelled that warmth of the ginger a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and then I will come back to it, hopefully, if I can remember. But again, I they don't know that I'm not a fan of uh, floral, so that's not a problem. Okay, I'm missing a product because there's only four products in here. This is uh, uh, the teeniest, tiniest little thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Let's see here. It's from Ico. It says Galactic Lip Gloss in the tiniest little thing I've ever seen. It's in the color Zodiac. Maybe it's the color of the cap, I, I don't know. Are you sure this is a lip gloss? <laughs> I did it again, my friends. I did it again. But at least I can say this. <laughs> that I didn't put it on my lips <laughs> without reading. It says, <laughs> lid gloss, <laughs> not lip gloss, because I was confused because I know that um, Ico is a eye. Oh, oh boy. See, that is why I was confused. Holy smokes, goodness gracious me. I want to put this all over my body at the moment because that is amazing. It's very, very liquidy. It's not thick, nor is it chunky. <laughs> I'm just imagining <laughs> if I put that on my lips, I'm making myself cry for goodness sakes. Oh my goodness. Only me, people. This could only happen to me. I am going to anxiously wait until that dries down. I'm still giggling, I'm sorry. So I can let you know how uh, it is going to uh, stay on the eyes or at least how it's staying on my hand. I really do enjoy the liquid stuff because most of the time it's very quick and easy for me to do. I don't fuss and I don't muss. Sometimes I'll put eyeliner on, sometimes I won't. Like I did not put eyeliner on with this look because I thought it looked just so pretty without it. So I like ease a lot of times. And the last item in here is, how about I read? Why don't I do that? It's a Koki retractable liquid liner. A retractable liquid liner? Um. I'm Oh, 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 <laughs> I get it now. I've never seen anything like this before in my entire life. It is uh, in the color black. I'm going to make the presumption. And over here it says pull out to open. It helps to read. Now, was this going to stay? I can see this collapsing, but let's see. Hold on. Oh, it has a nice stiff point that you can get super fine lines with. I've never tried the Koki Cosmetics liner. That's really cute. I wish that it 
locked in place like when you pulled it out if you turned it and it locked because I can tell you that it slides in and out very very easily but that's a beautiful point that I am very excited to try I have so many liners open but I'm going to replace it with you know this one at the moment oh I'm not missing anything here it is okay so this is a brush which looks really pretty and it's from Farah I like getting the Farah brushes stray with the bristles I'm gonna do a very close a very close up you know what I mean I'm gonna get very close and the bristles are all over the place are they even loose no see they're not even loose hairs they're the fibers and like I have looks like it has horns they're sticking up all over the place and there's a lot of non-uniformity in here some of their brushes I think are really nice and perform well the presentation is beautiful with this you know with the cover and beautiful handles this says it's a flat foundation brush I could see that yes but again just oh the bristles are just a mess which is which is disappointing because they do charge a lot of money for these and that's fine if it's worth it, if you're going to charge a lot of money for brushes, then they have to be of a decent quality. And this one, I'm hoping very much that it shows up on camera how astray all of these bristles are. I'm still happy that I got it, though, and I will try it and use it. So let's, um, now that I found it, let's read up on this, shall we? So the Farah Flat Foundation Brush 615F. The full price of it I believe that says $16 which again I think is a lot for that okay this that I'm very excited about full size of it is only six dollars man if a full size liquid eyeliner for six dollars works well I'm going to be switching to this one full time it says it's made with ultra saturated jet black pigments and a firm felt tip they say that it won't skip tug or smear they're saying that this is full size. Now I'm going to look this up. When I look at the amount of product that you get in here, and if they try to tell me again that it was made for just for Ipsy, I'm going to throw something across the room. I, I will not speculate though. We'll see. So the Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter clear brow gel. The interesting thing about using this though is because the brush is flat, I keep forgetting that it's flat and I wound up, I wind up turning it the wrong way. Like with a rounded brush, you don't have to think about the way you're using it. So you just have to be cautious or aware of that. Not cautious. It's not going to like <laughs> ruin your brows if you don't. And not. I'm going off on a tangent. You get the idea though. And the full price of, of the seven milliliters is $24. And this little puppy is 3.5. So they're saying that this one is half the size. I'm going to have to look up the full size of it. I'm sure they're correct because it is benefit, but um, we will find out. That is for sure. Okay. This stuff. I swear, people, I'm telling you, it could only happen to me, and you're here to witness it because I don't think anyone be one would believe how scatterbrained I can actually be. So the Ico Galactic Lid <laughs> Gloss in Zodiac. Let's test this. Oh. Nothing on my finger. It stays. Oh, that is really, really cool. I'm going to wear that tomorrow around the house while well, it's snowing. Yeah. Anyway, it says creamy copper lid gloss. Do they have to call it gloss? I keep thinking it says lip gloss, for goodness sakes. Just use your fingers to blend it over your lids for a sheer wash of shimmer or pack it on for a full-on glitter effect. Yeah, I will be packing it on because I'm that kind of girl. The full size of it is $19, and you know, uh, once I try this on my eyes, I might be excited to go out and try more of these for sure. So the Hermetica Jade 888 Eau de Parfum. It says, one whiff of this fresh fragrance will instantly transport you to the lush rainforest of the Amazon. Let's see. 
don't know. It's I think it's still probably too florally for me. My my I asked my daddy goes, I don't know. Uh, I wish I had somebody else to ask at the moment, but uh we'll see. Anyway, it says iris oil, ginger extract, lily of the valley, just like I said. The full size of it is a hundred dollars for a hundred milliliters. I've never even heard of this one. This is five milliliters. Okay, wow. So yeah, so that is my bag. What do I think overall? I'm going to still add up my samples, by the way, and I'm not going to include the price of the bag. I just, for my own personal, you know, want to see what they say everything is worth. I like my bag. I'm not unhappy. I am super excited about these two products, and I really do like this. The perfume if I don't like it. It is okay, and I always enjoy, I'm looking for everything. I always enjoy getting a brush, even though I'm a little disappointed. I will have to give it a haircut. I still think the value is okay for $12. So now the most important part is I would like to know your opinion. A, are we twinning? You know how I feel about us twinning. <laughs> B, how much of an idiot am I, uh, am I for thinking that uh, that was lip gloss? Although you might've enjoyed if I actually put it on my lips because we could have laughed even harder than we already have. And of course, my friends, I love you and whatever part of the world you're in and around. I hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you're having an amazing week coming up. I will see you really soon. I have two more videos to film. Hope you like the outfit. <laughs> Bye, guys.